Hi there. So for this question then, we were given f of x and told that when divided by x plus 1, the remainder is 0. And when divided by 2x minus 1, the remainder is minus 15. And we had to work out the values of a and b. And you can see that a turns out to be minus 7 and b turns out to be minus 18. So I'll take you through this just in case there were any problems. Essentially, though, you've got to be familiar with the remainder theorem. And if you need to brush up on that, I've got tutorials on my website on it. But uh, if f of x then is divided by x plus 1 and the remainder is 0, putting x plus 1 equal to 0 would mean that x would equal minus 1. So using the remainder theorem, f of minus 1 would equal that remainder of 0. So I've substituted minus 1 in for x and equated it to 0. And it simplifies to a minus b then equals 11. We use the other result that when divided by 2x minus 1, the remainder is minus 15. And so when you put 2x minus 1 equal to 0, x would equal a half. And so we do f of a half equals minus 15. So when you substitute a half through here, equate it to minus 15, you get another equation in terms of a and b. And you'll notice here I've multiplied through by 4 to simplify it down, OK, to a plus 2b equals minus 43. So we can use simultaneous equations now between these two. I've done 2 take away 1. And you can see it gives me 3b equals minus 54, which reduces down to b equals minus 18. And then substitute b equals minus 18 back into equation 1 here. And a turns out to be minus 7. OK, so basically then the key point to this question is being familiar with the remainder theorem.